Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu. With me, I am Omar Noor. The top headline this include U.S. military carries out the second air strike against Al Shabaab in central Somalia. Ethiopian fighter jets pumped Somali towns in revenge for the recent Al Shabaab attack inside Kenya. You will also watch that Somali president has held a meeting with members of the parliament as time running for the prime minister to appoint his cabinet ministers. Somaliland police want the opposition against holding illegal protests in Hargeisa against the current president of the regional state. Kenya is heading to the election next month. The security has been tied at the Somali border to avert terrorist attacks. Welcome back to the news in detail. Somali President His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has been holding a closed door meeting with the members of the lower house chamber of the parliament since his return from tribes from Kenya and Tanzania as well as several countries in the region. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed sought to convince the MPs to support the Council of the Ministries that will be nominated in four days. The MPs are opposed to the inclusion of many non parliamentary members in the upcoming cabinet lawmakers from Putland and Northern regions, are said to be the most focal in their opposition who argue that the previous governments have included a large number of MPs as federal ministries. According to the close sources, the president uh, and the prime minister, Hamza Abdi Barre, has held a meeting on Saturday in the presidential palace in Mogadishu to discuss the agitation felt by some of the MPs. They added that the private meeting with the lawmakers by the president is to deter the likelihood of the cabinet losing the vote of confidence in the parliament. Villa Somalia has not yet commented on the reports that the prime minister is facing challenges about the appointment of the cabinet ministers. The prime minister was appointed last month by the president and he has uh, failed to, to appoint the cabinet within 30 days. Uh, the parliament has given him 10 more days last Monday to unveil his cabinet ministries, but yet uh, the prime minister has not announced his government. Uh, more eyes on his office as the Somali people are awaiting to hear the appointment of the new cabinet ministries.
The spokesperson of the Somali's presidential palace, Villa Somalia Abdukrin Ali Kar said he was misquoted earlier this week when he asked about the President Mahmoud's position on the construction of the Nile Dam by the Ethiopian government on the Blue Nile. I apologize for the fact that I was misunderstood and misquoted in the explanations I gave about the President Sisi's remarks at the joint press conference alongside the Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed uh, at El Itihadia Presidential Palace in Cairo last week. Uh, Abdukrin Ali Kar has released a statement. He added that the President of Somalia and his Egyptian counterpart uh, Al Sisi agreed that the regional disputes be resolved peacefully through cooperation and collectively. During a press conference uh, following uh, their bilateral talks last week in Cairo, President Al Sisi of Egypt and President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed of Somalia have discussed the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance and shared views regarding the danger of unilateral policies when implementing projects on the international rivers. Al Sisi said that they also agreed on the importance of involving the Nile uh, riparian status which include most of the African Great Lakes nations in consultations on the dummies filling to ensure their water supplies is not harmed. Uh, Ethiopia has been insisting it has the right to build uh, the Nile Dam uh, to produce uh, the energy for its people. The project to which cost is uh, more than 5 billion U.S. dollars have been reaching uh, since 2011. Uh, the project has sparked diplomatic tension between Ethiopia and uh, Sudan, as well as Egypt, uh, the two countries that receive the waters from the Nile Dam, um, beginning from Ethiopia. Somali military claims to have killed uh, members of Al Shabaab during uh, an operation in south of the country. The Somali National Army SNA said that the forces from the Southwest State Regional Administration on Saturday uh, killed uh, three Al Shabaab militants in a joint uh, operation in the region. A senior police and security official has confirmed uh, a military official who led the operation near the Toswain village in Bardale district told uh, the Somali National News Agency that the several militants who have been terrorizing the local people escaped with serious wounds, he said. The militants have harassed and displaced several people in the villages. This operation may mean to, to flush them out of Berdale district. Idris Abdullahi Sheikh, a commander who led the operation against Al-Shabaab, told the state media in Mogadishu by phone. The latest operation came a day after the two people, including the Southwest State Justice Minister Hassan Ibrahim Lukbur and his son, who were killed by Al-Shabaab bomber outside a mosque in Baidoa city located uh, some 245 kilometers west uh, of Mogadishu. Southwest State President Laftergren has strongly condemned uh, the killing of his justice minister in the terrorist attack on Friday in Baidoa. Al Shabaab is still controlling uh, large parties of Somalia. Uh, south and central regions and the group still continues to carry out high profile attacks in Mogadishu and elsewhere in the country. Somali forces backed by the African 
Union troops have intensified military operations against uh, Al Shabaab uh, to control the entire uh, country, which is now part of and under Al Shabaab control. The Somali forces and the African Union soldiers have flushed out Al Shabaab from the capital in 2011 and major towns near the capital since uh, that year. Uh, Somali government says it has set up a new plan to launch offensive against uh, Al Shabaab in the coming uh, months. New Somali President uh, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed said. His government will give the security and the fight against uh, Al Shabaab the first uh, priority. Somalia has been facing uh, threat from Al Shabaab for a decade, and uh, the African Union forces are now preparing uh, to withdraw from the country by 2024. That's all for our today's English News live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio will leave you. Bye for now.